Halloween festival. I wanted to do this video because of the special solar black moon eclipse that we have today and the significance of today in relation to the cross quarter wheel and how uh, building carns on the cross quarter points is helping create your sacred space. So I want to talk about all that. Now the eclipse is happening on the head of Sittas, the whale, which is in Aries, which is the crown chakra ruled by Mars. It's fire as well. So that is really significant that we have the I am and it's all happening on the Beltane, the eve of Beltane, right? So this is when you celebrate uh, with fires. Now you can see here Mercury and there's a comet right on the Pleiades and Osiris is in the silver gate of the horns of Taurus. Now we just had a Venus Jupiter conjunction in Pisces on the tail of the whale. Now on the Kabbalah tree, the path between Jupiter and Venus would be the karmic wheel card in the tarot cards. So it has to do with the palm of your hand. Okay. Now the head of the whale is also known as the hand of God. Okay. The head of Sittas. That's supposed to be the hand of God. So we've got the sun, the, you know, the solar eclipse on the hand of God as well. And I'll get into the significance of the hand. So in sidereal astrology, the sun is in Aries, which is the head of Sittas. And then I found this picture in Scotland when they were celebrating Beltane. They had the Slepner Odin's horse, which is Sittas, as one of the puppets. So, you know, they're showing that the sun is really in Aries. Now in tropical astrology, it would be in uh, Taurus. So, you know, sometimes you see the horns and, um, you know, different symbolism like that. But I just found this was really cool that they were showing the, the seahorse. Now, Beltane is considered to be a pagan holiday because the Puritans of New England considered the celebrations of May Day to be um, lixinious and pagan. They forbode its observance, making maypoles illegal in the mid 1600s and tried to put a halt to the greenwood marriages that frequently took place on May Eve. As a result, the holiday never became as important part of the uh, American culture. By the late 1800s, the maypole dance had shifted to become an activity primarily conducted by the schools and thrusts confined mainly to children, particularly young girls, although they were sometimes also carried out by female students on college campuses. The tradition continued throughout the 1900s and can even today, um, some schools still hold May Day activities. So yeah, so it was not, you know, they didn't want they didn't, Christianity didn't want this to be celebrated because, you know, considered pagan, whatever. The whole point was it's like you're worshiping the seasons, right? You're worshiping the seasons of the sky and the cycles of nature. Hi, guys. Happy Beltane. It's absolutely amazing. It's almost sunset. And there's my little doggy. And um, anyhow, I've been really super busy getting everything ready for spring. I made this trellis to go around my garden, like a gateway. I've been getting hay bales together because I'm going to try to do hay bale gardening. I've been cleaning sheds to get ready for chicken coops. What else have I been doing? I've been doing gardening like a mad person. And anyhow, I just wanted to wish you guys all happy Beltane Festival. Now, what I want to show you guys today, which is really cool to do, is because it's a cross-quarter day, cross-quarter day is halfway between the equinox and the solstice. So what I've done is I've actually mapped out my property. I went on Google Maps 
and well actually Google Earth and I took a you know a, an overhead picture of my property and then today I did all the carns to do the landmarking for the sunrise and sunset and the north and south right so you get this you know the cardinal points at this time of year so I started it this is my first cross quarter day and then I'll do it again the four points uh, for the summer solstice which is the longest day of the year and then of course then we come back to the days getting shorter so it comes back on the Beltane cross for uh, Lammas which is August 1st and then you get onto the equinox which is you know the fall equinox which is the same as the spring equinox so you have so some of them double over but the longest day is on its own and then you know it, it moves over to these um, cross quarter days and then of course the equinoxes are the same so you end up with uh, 20 points all together um, to make this my cat now to make uh, the whole circle around your property now if you don't have a big property you can do this just around your house and map out you know the whole direction or points around your house and what this does I was listening to Barbara Marciniak and she was saying that this is really important to protect your space okay so now really what everything is about for me is now is to start to go inward and start to create my energy field around me for protection of negative negative energies and also to start working on my inner journey more and I hope that is the same for all you guys and to stop being angry or frustrated with the people that don't see the same perspective as you okay because that's just unhealthy and that's just a trap to be in this negative vibration so I know there's still people that are struggling with family members saying like you know you don't believe me you know why don't you listen to me and I get like that too like I get like um, a little bit um, almost feeling like you know taking the persecuted path because I'm not allowed technically to leave my country by a plane or a boat um, and I'm trapped here and also you know part of my income was taken away because of my decision and so you know nobody seems to really mind right like the masses don't really care that that's happening to you so you know you can get trapped in those kind of resentment issues uh, emotions if you don't let go of them okay so you have to come to terms with the path that you chose and you know when somebody says to you well you chose that and so you know you had a choice but we didn't really have a choice because we didn't have a choice it just you know the world changed and you know we were like you know you're not following so you know you don't have the rights to have these privileges so I don't really feel like we had a choice but I don't have resentment for taking the decision that I chose because I do think it's important for the body to keep its uh, original form and not have uh, anything altered with the uh, pseudo uridine right um, so which is Neptune's symbol by the way I did mention that once before but um, it's interesting that they you know create change the U to the Neptune symbol I always find that fascinating because the U is Ophiuchus and it's it's about you right and Neptune um, actually rules the uh, moon card and the moon card is not the good path it's a, the corporality path it's just about the body it's not about the spiritual side of you so it's interesting that well you could say Neptune rules it it's ruled by Pisces but you could say well Neptune doesn't rule it. Jupiter rules it right so anyhow Neptune is a very fascinating um, but you know it has a bipolar aspect to it you know you, it's the shaman it's the healer it's the person that can see through the veil but it's also can be the person that is clouded over um, by fog so there's this aspects of, of Neptune that can work differently but what's so exciting about this Beltane is that we have this uh, solar eclipse tonight it's a black moon solar eclipse now it's happening in Aries which is the crown chakra of I am 
right? And all the esoteric texts say that Aries is the crown, okay? So, and he rules the first house, and that's why he's the crown. He's the, he's the crown of self, okay? So your body wraps around the zodiac, 12th house is your feet in Pisces. So it's best, you know, you, you have to understand your natal chart and see where Aries is, because this solstice, I mean, sorry, this uh, solar um, eclipse will affect um, which house your Aries is in, um, on your natal chart, but also on the current chart that you're living right now. So if you're living in your uh, first Saturn return or your second Saturn return, you want to know where Aries is, and um, this this solar eclipse is going to affect that. Okay, so what does it affect? It creates um, emotions because of the moon. Eclipses create a lot of emotion. And then, you know, the fact that uh, it's an Aries, which is the warrior, right? He's, you know, he's the war god, but he's also, he's Mars, he's the war god, but he's, it's also the warrior within you. It's the flame within you. So this is why I think this Beltane is so special because it's tonight and I'm going to have a nice big fire to celebrate. And I think it's, uh, you know, really amazing because it's the flame within you. And that's what Aries really is. It's, it's the fire in you, right? It's the warrior within you, the warrior that wants to be free, right, of this illusion that we've been put in. So embrace it, check out where it is in your charts, and understand how it's going to affect you, okay? So sometimes you can get a bit aggressive, with Aries, right? You can, you know, the warrior in you is coming out, right? So you want to understand that and see where it's going to kind of come up for you. For me, it's in my transformation house. So the eighth house. So I'm really feeling connected to nature finally back, you know, outside because it's been a long winter. It was really long here in Canada. I felt like it was never going to end. It was really getting me down, but, um, there's something magical when spring comes here, you know, because you've been inside for so long and it's been cold and finally the grass is green and the birds are singing and the flowers are coming out and, you know, I can't plant yet. But if you're in a warmer climate, today would be a really good time to plant. It's, the, you know, the new moon. So you want to plant on the new moon. Now, the other thing is, I, I don't know, I think I've mentioned this before, but if you put a paper out on the full moon, today is the time that you write down your um, affirmations of what you wish to come true, okay? So you can do that every month. Full moon, you put a piece of paper out, let it absorb the moonlight, and then on the new moon, you plant your seeds of what you what you wish for yourself. So that's uh, what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna create a fire. I'm gonna create uh, Beltane wishes for you all, and uh, just enjoy. Now I'm going to show you the graph of how to make these, uh, the cross quarter points and, you know, kind of shows you the degree because they're not, they're not all spaced equally. Like it goes big and then it goes, the next one is smaller and it, it's kind of differently spaced. So, but I think it has a meaning to it. And I'll, when I show you the wheel, I'll show you the wheel, the, um, the winter solstice and the summer solstice go like this. Like it's, it's like, you know, like how they always put the hands of the clock at 10 and 2. And I think it's mapping out the cardinal points for the winter and summer solstices. It has to be. There's no other reason. Like I, I was like, it looks like, a, it looks like a clock once you make this, this whole cross point quarter days in you in you in the solstice and the equinoxes it makes like it looks like a clock but the clock is more noticeable on these you know kind of um, where the winter solstice the summer solstice is. it makes the 10 and 2 o'clock so I think that's really cool so I'll show the visual for that and I have so much stuff to share with you guys I just can't keep up I'm just like Oh my God, I forgot to tell them about that. You know, I haven't done a video on that. So it's easier for me to just to talk because it's, it takes less time. But I will um, put together um, a Kofifi video because I noticed Trump used it again when he's back on social media. And I have all this stuff from Kofifi, Kofifi that I've never shared with anybody um, and what it meant. And, you know, it was a really fun little project when I got on that. So I have to share that with you guys. I'll keep that as a surprise 
but it's going to rain the next, uh, I think a couple of nice sunny days and then it's going to start raining. So I'll have more time indoors. But uh, anyhow, I just uh, wanted to share the Beltane Festival and tomorrow's May Day. So you dance around the Maypole and ask the fairies to uh, protect your livestock. Because the, traditionally this was the first day of summer when the livestock went out on the grass. And, you know, it was to create, um, uh, you know, um, blessings for them to be safe when they were out on pasture. That was one of the reasons. But the tradition was that on May Day, you'd dance around the Maypole and, you know, uh, honor the May Queen, which is in the Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin song, the May Queen. So this is all about ascension. This day is about lighting your flame. And the fact that there's a solar eclipse on it is pretty amazing. So take the opportunity to, you know, to celebrate and to light a flame, even if it's just a little flame in your house, a candle, light a flame and make a wish and uh, just enjoy, just enjoy, you know, summer's here. And uh, I have my black cat crawling up on the fence here. Come here, Onyx. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. I have, um, I have, um, come here, you, come over here. I have um, a little kitty too. She follows me all around. A little calico. She just showed up, and uh, I found her on the road, and I brought her in. And she's so now I have two cats. I uh, used to have lots of cats, but they all got old. And every once in a while, another one will show up and wants to live here. <laughs> I had a tom that came meowing at my house the other day at the door and I was like you don't live here off you go I don't want a tomcat but uh anyhow happy Beltane festival and I'll uh definitely I'll show you the the wheel and so you can do the same to help protect your uh sacred space that you live in so um yeah signing out so I've got my little uh you know nature and this is the, this is great I, I bought the I don't I don't wear this out in public okay guys but look I bought I found this this uh, little thing so I think I look like an Amanita mascara well it's not an Amanita I look like a, a morel right this is like a mushroom dress so I thought it was perfect for Beltane festival so anyhow you guys get to see me dress up and act weird but uh, <laughs> I try to be normal in my normal everyday life so I don't scare people I think I do scare people Anyhow, it's all great. It's all fun. So there's so much to uh, that I've learned, and I've I've kept all this information for the school. And poor Gavin, um, who's doing my website, he's got it all ready, but then he dislocated his shoulder, so he had to have a surgery. So now, um, hoping for a speedy healing for him, so we can get this up and going. It just seems like one thing after another. Uh, keeps delaying it but it must be for a reason so I'm not really panicking about it so there has to be a reason and maybe it's just uh, the energies have to be right oh right and Pluto's going into retro so you know Pluto's your soul and he's going into retro I think today so he's going to be stronger so that's all your inner work so just focus on your inner work right now forget what's going on like laugh about what's going on it's hilarious with Elon Musk and you know, is he the Antichrist? Um, could be. You know, he's got the neural link. I don't, I just think it's all, you know, almost entertaining, like trying to help people understand that freedom of speech is, is important. But at the same time, you know, he's, you know, the CEO of Neuralink. So I just think he did, that would be the perfect Antichrist, right? Because everybody's like, you know, oh, great, he's coming to save us. But nobody saves us. You have to save yourself. You know, you have to walk the persecuted path. You have to be Jesus if you want to see it like that. You have to be righteous. You have to be willing to do self-healing. You have to be willing to step away from society because you don't fit into society anymore. And you can't be angry about it. You just got to embrace it and just um, say, this is what I came here for. You know, I came here to experience how to basically jump timelines and I do believe you can jump timelines I do believe you can create a different timeline for yourself but I think you have to tap into all these um, 
nature's ways of how to do it. And it has to do with um, understanding the solar system, that's the sky and how it works. And you have to be pay um, respect to it. So that's what I did today. I created these cairns on the four points. The sun's setting right there, and that's exactly where I put um, my stone cairn. So you want to go out and see where the sun rises tomorrow and put a marker there. And then that's the east, and then, you, you know, you want to put the other one across the west and do that. And then you'll see as, the, as we get closer to the summer solstice, it shifts. It gets longer. The, the days get longer. So anyhow, it's really important to just work on you and just be happy and try to find all the joy in this craziness because it is magical time because something's changing. Something's happening, right? It, it's not just the old mundane work nine to five, go home, you know, you know whatever. Uh, I'll go buy some clothes. That'll make me feel better. Oh, I'll go on a vacation. That'll make me happy. Oh, you know, I'll buy a new car. That'll make me happy. All those times are, there's no substance in that anymore. The substance is connecting to nature and, you know, um, finding the bliss in that and finding the magic in it. Because it is magical. Because once you connect to that, everything you dream comes true. It just does. Because you're on that frequency. And, you know, I think that's the most important thing. So it's important to start practicing your lucid dreaming as much as you can. Um, remembering your dreams. Remember sleep with your head to the south. Drink some water before you go to sleep. I've been drinking the Amanita muscaria before sleeping because sometimes I get a little bit like Ooh, uh, when I drink it during the day and I don't like that. And I get a little bit of like stimulation in the back of my head when I drink it. And I don't take much. I only take like an eighteenth of a, an eight, one eighth of a teaspoon. But anyhow, I like to do it before I go to sleep because then I feel like my dreams are more uh, vivid and I can remember them more. And the key is what Dan Winter was saying is that you want to be able to see your hand inside your dream. And that's the hermit card, right? The hand, okay, the yod. And um, it's the hand is everything. It's the pent, right? So I'm going to dig into that a little deeper in my school about the importance of the hand and how it is really all of creation. And you know, the, the song, you know, take my precious hand, Lord, that Elvis Presley did, it's because it's all about the hand. So you wanna be able to see your hand inside your dream and recognize you're looking at your hand. This is the key to lucid dreaming. So that's something else to start to practice and all these things that we have to learn, right? We have to learn how to tap into all this stuff. So there's, there's no time to be angry and frustrated. There's too much to do. So yeah, anyhow, there's too much to do at this time of year. Anyhow, I can't wait to get my chicken coop all fixed up and I got an old shed that I cleared out and get some chickens running around here. And I dream about having a peacock, <laughs> a peacock and I want, I want goats too. <laughs> I'm going to be a crazy lady living on the farm with the goats and the chickens. But anyhow, the sun's going down. So enjoy. Light a fire. Happy Beltane Festival. Happy May Day. Enjoy the, the solar eclipse and the black moon today, too. There is a black moon. Take care. Bye. Now, this is the wheel. Now, you can see at the east, Ostera and Magbon is the. Um, equinoxes so they're always you know right at the east right so it's half half a day of sun half a day of night so that's exactly like how the cardinal points all line up now for Beltane your Lamas this would be the blue line here so the sun is rising a little bit before the east cardinal point and it's actually setting you know even even um, farther than its west point which would be the blue line up by the north there it's actually setting the sun is actually setting at the north cardinal point or close to it between you know so because it's going like almost three quarters of the way around the sky right 
as the days are getting longer. So you can see, you know, so, but the point is you want to just set the helical rising at the east and then make the four cardinal points. doesn't matter that the sun is going past, you know, the west of that cardinal point. You want to just focus on the helical rising and then just make your four cardinal points. So try to do that, even if you just do it around your house. I think it's a really cool thing to do because then you're celebrating the, you know, the seasons of, of where the sun rises. And therefore connecting into those energies and creating your sacred space. Now, this is the one I made on the east for the Beltane. And it's, I found it, <laughs> I found this kind of big piece of quartz pink rock. And then I just found it kind of looks like a, I don't know, an animal in a way. So I made it like that and I have a little stone fence there. So I just made it on top of that pointing towards, you know, where the sun is going to rise tomorrow morning on made it. So if you want, dance around the maypole tomorrow and, you know, pay uh, respects to the, the May Queen. Enjoy, guys. Hope you guys have a chance to have a fire tonight if you haven't already. And if not, do it tomorrow night. That's okay, too. Take care. List you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, you know, if you guys want a reading, anybody for uh, their Saturn returns or if you just want a natal chart done, or if you just want to, uh, you know, some of you guys have been giving me donations. I really appreciate that because things are getting a little slow right now. But hopefully when the school gets up, it'll get a little bit more going. And uh, we can get, um, I can get on some other channels to start to, you know, help uh, spread the knowledge of the sky, the story in the sky. Take care, guys. List to you.